My name is Dr. John Beckwith. I'm located here in Hillsboro, New Jersey. I have a dental practice. The name is Cornerstone Dental. Much of my practice is based upon dental implantology and using the most current technology really to address patient needs and customize approaches to take care of the dental care um, and utilize dental implants to uh, replace teeth. When people are starting to make decisions with regards to having dental implants done, I think they need to consider three basic things. The experience of a specific dental practitioner uh, says a lot. I think that the training that they've received in the type of care that they, that they need to have done and also today the technology that they employ in their practice to make dentistry a little bit more predictable and comfortable for them. I've been practicing dentistry right now for 29 years. The first implants that we were restoring were done 28 years ago um, and from that point implant dentistry has always been a part of our practice. You know, today we are currently doing both phases of, of the procedure, surgical and restorative. My training has been through a two-year uh, fellowship through the Mish Implant Institute and um, I've had the ability to go through the training procedure uh, with fellow colleagues um, with one of the founders of Implant Dentistry. Implant Dentistry is a restorative driven part of dentistry. The implants need to not only be placed in the bone but the implants need to be placed where the teeth need to be. And when we talk about where the teeth need to be, very often the bone's not there. So it's very easy to make a compromise and not put the implant where the tooth has to exactly be. And if you're not a restorative dentist or don't realize that, very often the restorations or the final results often are compromised because of that. So I think when we start to what I call engineer our cases, uh, we start to plan them out accordingly and we start exactly where a tooth needs to be. Uh, we place the bone if there is not adequate bone for the implant to be placed there and then we subsequently place the implant in the correct position. Typically patients will come in for implant consultation um, depending upon the, their needs. Uh, at that particular time we would use a, a CAT scan that we have in the office here, cone beam technology enables us to take a 3D image of someone's tooth or area where we want to replace a tooth and bring it up on a computer and be able to take accurate measurements, identify vital structures, um, and also begin case selection of how to replace a specific tooth. And then depending upon the specific case, today we're able to actually manufacture what we call a surgical guide. It's a computer-guided surgical stent. I view that as probably one step before robotic surgery. It's actually something that we make off of the CAT scan that we take from the patient. We're able to virtually place a tooth and an implant where it needs to be on the scan without working on the patient at all. The patient comes back in at a subsequent appointment. We put that stent in their mouth. The stent has an exact spot, hole in the stent where that implant needs to go. What does that mean for the patient? It means they leave here, they have an implant done, it's placed in their mouth, and they don't even have a stitch placed. Predictability, patient comfort, it doesn't get any better. But the studies show that we have 96 to 98 percent success rates for uh, five years and more. Um, that being said, Many of the patients who have dental implants today have had them for 20 and 30 years. More people have dental implants that have lasted 20 and 30 years than those that have bridge works and crowns in their mouth. Those generally will fail for other reasons. I think it's important for a dentist to have proper training with these procedures. And I don't think that taking a specific weekend course through a specific dental manufacturer is the same as a dentist who has placed thousands of implants, restored thousands of implants, and has been doing them for 25 years or more. I would like to have every opportunity to be able to treat the patients who require treatment. Um, I've spent a lifetime doing these procedures with patients, and I thoroughly enjoy helping them. I often try to find a way to uh, address their needs, work within their means, 
and um, provide a long-term uh, economical solution for them.